that's what I'm aiming for. And I'll cut this up and put it on there. I don't know if super glue will actually glue that plastic in place. Probably not. So I'll probably have to put a bit of hot glue on there or something to hold it in place. We'll try it with super glue first. We've roughed up the edges of it using a knife to take the shiny surface off it. And we'll just try and put it on there and see what happens. Just notice that's actually giving me a bit of an angle in the wrong direction. I didn't check that first. You really want a little bit of down thrust. Well, that seems to have stuck. I don't know how strong that will be. For the shaft for the propeller, I've got this bit of thin wire. A paper clip would probably do, but I found this piece of wire. I think it was the aerial off of one of the toy radio controlled cars that I've got. So I'll cut that so it's long enough to go through there. I'll find a small bead out of my bead box here to go on the end of it to give us a thrust bearing. And I'll bend this at a right angle and we'll make up a propeller. Right, for the propeller, I'm going to use this cotton bud, cut it, push a hole through the middle of it, and then this will go through that tube and then be bent at a right angle once we've passed it through the hole so that it holds itself in place as we turn the propeller and then I'll cut some slots either end and put some propeller blades on this not quite sure what to use a fairly lightweight plastic bottle would be handy because we'd have nice curved blades then so I'll measure this up put a hole right through the middle of it I've got some beads Ideally you'd use really small ones like that, but I think that might be too big to go through that little bead. So I might have to use that one that's a bit bigger. I've just remembered a trick from Science Toy Maker's um, aeroplanes. Rather than cutting a slot, you can actually squeeze this flat and then glue the propeller to the flat piece. Right, we're beginning to lose the light a bit, so I'm going to have to change to electric lighting. But you might be able to see that I've squashed that over at an angle that will give us the right angle for the propeller blade. So it would be this sort of direction. So as it goes around it corkscrews that way. I've sliced up a pop bottle. I've cut two pieces off it that I'm going to lay on top of each other. And then I've cut out this rough propeller blank that I'm going to position so it will get a curve in its shape. And I'll try and cut two blades at once so they're identical. Uh, I'm not going to sort of put a plan or a diagram out, but that one's about seven, 
75 millimeters long, about 20 wide at its widest point. So I'll cut that and then we'll glue it or tape it to that um, propeller that we're making.